you're in this room, I'm telling you the power of God is here. Come out, let her go, there it is, go, go. Loose her, loose her. Same spirit, the Bible says that raised Christ is living inside of us. Every foul spirit must go. The Bible says in Luke 10, the disciples came back and said, even the demons obey us in your name. No more, no more Let her go. Come out of her. Come out of her now. Acts chapter 8. The demons screamed as they left. All right, guys, we're going to say a quick prayer. If you guys want to pray with us, uh, usually we have, I'm Isaiah, by the way, I'm part of the movie, but we usually have a mass deliverance prayer. We weren't able to do it because of theater constraints this time, but I'm just going to lead you guys in a prayer. If you're in this room, I'm telling you the power of God is here. It's available. The same spirit, the Bible says that raised Christ is living inside of us. The Bible says in Luke 10, the disciples came back and said, even the demons obey us in your name. So this is not my name, Greg Locke's name or a preacher's name. This is the name of Jesus that has power. So if you're in this room and you need deliverance, or maybe you're like, I didn't even know I needed it. I, I started manifesting and growling during the movie. There is power in Jesus' name. So let's pray together. Father, I pray right now that every unclean spirit in this theater would go in Jesus' name. We come against every spirit of witchcraft. We come against every spirit of anxiety. We come against every spirit of trauma. We command you now to come up and out in Jesus' name. We rebuke you, Satan. You have no power. You have no authority. You have no strength. You have lost this battle. And we command you in Jesus' name to leave these bodies now. Every spirit of witchcraft, we command you to come up and out in Jesus' name. Every spirit of religion, we command you to go. I command right now, there's some of you in here that have the spirit of infirmity. We command the spirit of infirmity to come up and out right now. Every spirit of cancer, every blood disease, all anxiety, every mental illness, schizophrenia, dementia, right now, bipolar, we bind you in Jesus' name. We come against you in Jesus' name. Father, we pray tonight, Lord, that you would invade this movie theater by your Holy Spirit. We pray, Lord, according to Hebrews chapter 1, that you would send your angels to enter into this movie theater, this secular theater, Lord, that this place would be an altar for your Holy Spirit's presence. Right now, Lord, I pray that you begin to touch bodies right now. I pray every sexual demon of lust, of pornography, of perversion that is ruining your marriage, I come against that spirit now in Jesus' name. Spirit of lust, pornography, and perversion, you must come out now in Jesus' name. Every spirit of masturbation, we command you to come out in Jesus' name. I come against every nightmare demon. I come against every sexual demon that's attacking you at night. We command you now. Come out in Jesus' name. Come out in Jesus' name. I want you to repeat, repeat after me. Say, I renounce, I renounce all, witchcraft, all witchcraft, all new age, all, new age, all, pornography, all pornography, all trauma, all, trauma, all, unforgiveness, all unforgiveness, all anger, all, anger, all, bitterness, all bitterness. Leave me now, leave me now in, Jesus in Jesus' name. Satan, Satan you have no power over me. Power. You must go. In Jesus, name. In Jesus' name, you cannot live inside of me. Inside of me. Go, now. Go now, in Jesus' name. In Jesus name. Lord, forgive us, Lord, forgive us. For, idleness. for idleness, for compromise, for, compromise. for, complacency. for complacency, for lukewarmness, for lukewarmness. And, deliver and deliver us in Jesus' name. Father, I pray right now, Lord, over every single person that you would bring deliverance right now. Every spirit must go right now. Yes. Satan, you have no power. Get your hands off these people in Jesus' name. Yes. We plead the blood of Jesus over every foul spirit. You must go in Jesus' name. Yes. Come on, in your own words, just pray lightly here. Just pray in your own words. Father, deliver us in Jesus' name. Father, heal my body. Come on, just pray right now. Father, don't be ashamed. Don't be ashamed. Come on, we're in the last days. Do not be ashamed. Father, deliver us right now. Heal us right now. Maybe you brought someone with you. Just begin to pray, Lord, deliver them in Jesus' name. Lord, bring breakthrough in our minds. Come on, every foul spirit, go now. Go in Jesus' name. Come out now in Jesus' name. We know you're there. You have no power. Come out now in Jesus' name. Come out, trauma. Come out, anxiety. Spirit of suicide, we command you. Come out in Jesus' name. Spirit of suicide, come out in Jesus' name. Every spirit of witchcraft, every new age spirit, every generational curse, 
Go in Jesus' name. If you see someone around you, just begin to pray for them if they're manifesting. Go in Jesus' name. Every new age, every generational curse, go now. Every curse of Santeria, go now. Some of you, your family is in your bloodline. We break the curses off your bloodline. Some of them go back to Puerto Rico, back to Mexico. We come against every curse from every demon right now in Jesus' name. Every demon that came through trauma, maybe you were raped, maybe you were molested, that spirit must go. Come out. Come out in Jesus' name. Come on, warriors, where are you at? Come out in Jesus' name. If you see someone around you manifesting, let's do what the movie talked about. We're here to demonstrate the power of God. Come out of her now in Jesus' name. Come out of her now in Jesus' name. Go. Come out. Go into the abyss and never return. The blood is against you, Satan. Come out. Spirit of infirmity, spirit of cancer. Come out in Jesus Christ's name. Leave these bodies in Jesus' name. Spirit of depression, we command you, come out in Jesus' name. If you have depression, we command that spirit out right now. Come out in Jesus' name. Every foul spirit must go. Every spirit of witchcraft must go right now in Jesus' name. Go. Come out. Come out. Come out. Come out. You have no power, Satan. Loose this body right now. Loose this body right now. Be delivered in Jesus' name. Every foul spirit out in Jesus' name. Go. Out of her mouth into the abyss. Come out. Out of her mouth into the abyss in Jesus' name. Every foul spirit. Go. 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 Go in Jesus' name. Come out. Come out. You must go. Loose her witchcraft. Loose her witchcraft. Let her go. Come out. Come out in Jesus' name. Come out in Jesus' name. Go. Go. You can't have her, Satan. You can't have her. Come out. Loose her right now. The blood is against you. I bind this foul spirit now. There it is. Go. 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 I bind this foul spirit now. Go. Come out. Come out. Let her go. There it is. Go. Go. Loose her. Loose her. Loose her. Loose her. Loose her. Come out. Come out. Out of her mouth. Out of her mouth into the abyss in Jesus' name. Go now. There it is. Loose her. Loose her. Come out. In Jesus' name. The blood is against you. Be freed right now in Jesus' name. Be free in Jesus' name. Be free in Jesus' name. The Lord's freed you tonight in Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Freedom. Freedom. Come on, there's freedom in the house. Come on, there's freedom in the house. Come on. The Bible says in Acts chapter 8, the demons screamed as they left. Let the demons scream out. It's biblical. Acts chapter 8 says the people were screaming as the demons left. So it's normal for a demon to scream out. Don't be scared. This is biblical. Acts chapter 8. Lord, we pray, do your work right now. Come out now in Jesus' name. Come out now. Go. Go. You have no power. Loose her. Loose her in Jesus' name. Come on, let her go. Come out. Come on, all over this room. Freedom. Freedom in Jesus' name. Come out, Satan. Come on, all over this room. Every spirit must go. Every spirit must go in Jesus' name. Come on, every spirit must go. Come out. Come out in Jesus' name. Loose her. Come out in Jesus' name. Come out of them now in Jesus' name. Come out in Jesus' name. Come out. Come out. Come out. Out of his mouth into the abyss. Out of his mouth into the abyss. 
Come out. Come out. All of it. There it is. All of it must go. All of it must go. All of it must go. All of it. Every last one. Loose them. Every last one must go. You have no power. Come out now in Jesus' name. Come out now in Jesus' name. The blood is against you. The blood is against you. All of it. Come out of her. Come out of her now in Jesus' name. Come out of her now in Jesus' name. You have no power. Go, you foul spirit. Go. Go. Go, you foul spirit. Come out. Come out. In Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord. Freedom. 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 You're being free today in Jesus' name. You're being free today. Go now. Come out of her. Come out of her. Come out of her. Every last one. We bind you in Jesus' name. We bind you. The blood is In Jesus Christ's name, you must go. The blood is against you. Every spirit of infirmity, just like in Luke chapter 13, you are bound. You are bound. Come out. All of it. Every last one into the abyss. Out of their mouth and into the abyss in Jesus' name. Every last one. Every last one. Go now. Every last one must go. Every last one must go. Freedom in Jesus' name. Freedom in Jesus' name. Freedom in Jesus' name. Freedom in Jesus' name. Do you feel anything there still? Do you feel free? How do you feel? Do you feel good? Yeah, let's sit up and see. Thank you, Lord. Freedom. Freedom. Watch your head. Watch your head. Freedom in Jesus' name. Freedom in Jesus' name. Every spirit must leave her right now. Every spirit must leave her right now. Go now. The blood is against you. The blood is against you. Go now. What is it? Go, shame. Go. Come out, shame. Spirit of shame, come out now. Shame. Go now. Spirit of shame, come out. Spirit of shame, come out of her now. Come out of her now. Come out of her now. Go into the abyss, you foul spirit. The Lord rebukes you in Jesus Christ's name. You are bound in Jesus Christ's name. Come out of this body in Jesus' name. This body is not your home. This body is not your home. Come out of this body in Jesus' name. Freedom right now. Shame, dysmorphia, go now. Body dysmorphia, there it is. Come out. Come out. There it is. Come out. Come out. Come out in Jesus' name. Come out in Jesus' name. Go. 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 Come out. Come out. Out of her mouth. Into the abyss. There it is. Go. Out of her mouth. Body dysmorphia. Body dysmorphia. Come out now. Out of her mouth. Into the abyss. Looser. Looser. You're, you've lost this battle, Satan. You've lost this battle, Satan. Looser right now in Jesus Christ's name. Looser right now in Jesus Christ's name. The blood is against you. Let her go. Let her go. I command every spirit at the sound of my voice to come out of her body and go into the abyss now. Out of her mouth into the abyss in Jesus' name. There it is. Go. She's not your home. Get out. Get out. Get out. Up and out in Jesus' name. Up and out in Jesus' name. Go. The blood is against you. The blood is against you. Leave now. Leave now. Leave now in Jesus' name. The blood is against you. Freedom right now. Freedom. Freedom in Jesus' name. Go. 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 Every last one. Every last one. Every last one must come out. Come on. We know there's something there still. Come up. Come up now. Thank you, Lord. Every last one. Anything left, we command you up and out now in Jesus' name. Anything hiding, we command you to leave her now. And just like the woman in Luke 13, the Bible says she was loose. 18 years, and God is saying today you are being loose. Just like the daughter of Abraham in Luke 13. Be loose, daughter of Abraham. Be loose. Be loose. No more, no more battle. Let her go. Come out of her. Come out of her now. Come out of her now. Come out of her now. You will not stay. You will not stay. You must go in Jesus' name. You must go in Jesus' name. 
In Jesus' name. The blood of Jesus is against you, Satan. Let her go now. Every last one. Thank you, Lord. Freedom. Freedom. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name. Holy Spirit, have your way. Touch her, God. Fill her with your Holy Spirit, God. Fill her with your Holy Spirit, God. Every empty arrow, fill them with the Holy Spirit. Fill them with the Holy Spirit. Fill them with the Holy Spirit, God. Fill them with the Holy Spirit, God. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Freedom. Freedom. Freedom in Jesus' name. Every spirit must go. Every spirit must go. Every spirit must go in Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Freedom. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Guys, I want to pray. Really quick, if you're praying, continue to pray. They're going to kick us out here in a few minutes because there's another movie, but I want to pray before you go that you be filled with the Holy Spirit. Everybody that got deliverance, there's an empty void in you, and we're going to pray that the Holy Spirit would fill that void. Jesus said all we have to do is ask, and he said if you being evil know how to give good gifts, how much more does the Heavenly Father want to give the Holy Spirit to them that ask? And then he says in John 7, there's rivers of living water that flow out. So let's pray that that Acts chapter 2, baptism of the Holy Spirit, if you've never been baptized, God wants to baptize you with the power of the Holy Spirit. Jesus told the disciples, wait in Jerusalem until the Holy Spirit comes upon you. So maybe you got delivered, maybe you didn't, but the Holy Spirit wants to fill you. And then lastly, we have a website. If you go to isaiasaldivar.com slash deliverance, we have 2,000 people all over the world that will meet up with you and do deliverance one-on-one. -on -one. So if you're here and you're like, I need to get delivered, but there's not enough time, I'm ashamed or whatever, you can go online and there's thousands of people on our website that will meet with you for free and they'll pray for you. So Father, I pray right now that you would fill every single person in this room with your Holy Spirit. We pray, Lord, according to your word, that you would fill us with the rivers of living water. God, I pray that they would overflow with the Holy Spirit's river and power. I pray right now, fill our kids, fill our marriages, fill our families. Baptize us, God, right now with the Holy Spirit and fire. I pray every empty space in your life would be filled with the power of the Holy Spirit. This is not religion. This is relationship with the person of the Holy Spirit. He's a real person that's come to the earth and has never left the earth. He's still here, alive today. So Holy Spirit, right now, fill these people in this movie theater, God. Touch the, the movie theater employees, the workers, the people in this theater, God. We know, God, that you're not just in the church, but you said in your word that you dwell in the earthen vessels. So I pray, Holy Spirit, right now, and some of you will begin to speak in tongues as we pray. I pray, Holy Ghost, fill them right now. Holy Spirit, fill them right now, God. Just like in the book of Acts, in Acts chapter 2, there was tongues as a fire that rested upon each of them. I pray that tongues of fire would rest upon you tonight. I pray that you would leave with the boldness of the Holy Spirit and the power of the Holy Spirit. That you would leave this theater on fire for God. No more normal church. No more business as usual. No more complacency. No more casual Christianity. It's time for leaders and pastors to catch the fire of God. Holy Ghost, have your way. Fill us with the Holy Spirit, God. Every empty area, fill us with the Holy Spirit right now. I pray the gifts, according to 1 Corinthians chapter 12, the gifts of the Holy Spirit would stir up in you right now. The Bible says in 1 Corinthians 14, earnestly desire and pursue spiritual gifts. So the Bible tells us we need to pursue the gifts of the Holy Spirit. Some of you have been waiting around that if God wants you to have them, he'll give them to you. But the Bible says we need to go after them. So right now I pray that spiritual gifts would stir up in your heart tonight. I pray spiritual gifts of revelation, of prophecy, of words of knowledge, words of wisdom, gift of faith, gift of miracles, gifts of healings, Speaking in tongues, interpreting tongues. Come on, these are all biblical, guys. These are in the Bible. I pray that those gifts would stir up in you today in Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. 
Fill us with your gifts, Lord. Fill us with your power. Maybe some of you need to repent. Listen, I feel the Holy Ghost saying some of you are in straight sin. You've broken the laws of God. And there's no shame right now. There's freedom. There's no condemnation. Jesus died on the cross, shed royal blood, so tonight you can be forgiven of your sin. There's no greater miracle than someone be born again. And the Lord tonight wants to give you that born again experience. In Acts chapter 2, verse 38, the people heard Peter preach just like this. And they said, what must we do to be saved? And Peter said, you got to repent. Friend, you, I know your pastor won't tell you this. you got to repent and be baptized. And you shall receive the Holy Spirit. So you have to repent tonight. So maybe you're in sin. Maybe you've been, what is sin? It's breaking the laws of God. You've been sleeping around. You've been fornicating. You've been watching pornography. You've been living in sin. But tonight, God wants to forgive you of that sin. Because of what Jesus did on the cross, you can be washed, you can be redeemed, and you can be made new tonight in Jesus' name. Come on, right now, just close your eyes. Father, I pray right now that you forgive sins. You have the power to forgive sins. And Lord, we repent. Just in your own words, say, Lord, I turn away from my sin. Repentance says, I'm wrong. God, you're right. And Father, I've been seeing my sin is okay. But tonight I say, I'm wrong. My sin is wrong. And tonight, God, I repent. And I turn to you in Jesus' name. I was an atheist 12 years ago. I cussed at God at an altar. And God changed my life. And I've been serving Him for 12 years. Come on, right now, you can turn from your sin. And say, God, I want to serve you. God, I want to serve you. God, I want to know you. God, fill me with your Holy Spirit. Lord, I believe what you did on the cross was real. Friend, there is an empty tomb in Jerusalem right now. Our God has been raised from the dead. This is real. This is real. There's an empty tomb. And tonight, you can die to yourself and be resurrected in Christ. Come on, right now, just pray in your own words. Father, forgive me of my sin. Father, wash me in the blood of Jesus. God, renew my mind, renew my spirit. Awaken me today, God. Baptize me in your Holy Spirit. I know, God, that I, I was a sinner, but now I'm a son. I know, God, that you've washed me and you've cleansed me, that you left heaven to enter humanity to die for my sin, that it was my sin that put him up on that cross. But there's forgiveness tonight in Jesus' name. Father, I pray that those that are born again tonight, those that are made new, that you would touch their life. God, that you would stir up dreams and visions in them, God. That you use them to proclaim the gospel. Lord, that we would not be on the sidelines, but we would be on the front lines. That God, we don't want to be lukewarm. We don't want to be dry, dead Christians. But God, awaken our hearts tonight in Jesus Christ's name. Awaken our heart tonight in Jesus Christ's name. Fill us with your Holy Spirit. Friend, this is not some religious prayer. This is real power. Romans 1.16 says that it is the power of God into salvation. There is power to transform you tonight. I came to church an atheist and left a revivalist. That same power is in this room. That same power is in this movie theater. Imagine some of you, you get saved at AMC 16 in Manteca. Father, right now, save your people. Baptize them and bless them. If you're still praying, listen. You, I guess you could pray till the movie theater kicks us out, but I know they have another movie showing, so we also want to respect the laws of the land according to the book of Romans. So we love you guys. We appreciate you guys. Make sure you continue to go out and do the work. Everything, listen, everything you watched in that movie, you can do and greater according to John 14. You can do it. Come on. Give the Lord a round of, a round of praise. Amen. God bless you. God bless you.